I'm 27 today. Hello besties, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I turn 27. Every year, in the weeks leading up to my birthday, I spend so much time reflecting. I realized that at 26, though not a lot has changed on the surface, I went through so much change internally. For one, I am much more confident. I am no longer as affected by beauty trends and I am confident enough to dress in what makes me feel good instead of what is trending. I also finally started taking big steps towards a version of life I want for myself. I quit my job, I started working on a startup, and I started posting on YouTube regularly. While I don't have a lot of things I thought I would at 27, my life is full in a lot of other ways. For one, I was able to define what I wanted for myself and pursue it. But my life is also filled with so much love and joy, and that is easily what I am most grateful for. Though the friendship circle has inevitably shrunk with age, I still feel so much love from my friends. Last year, we went to Seoul, London, and Paris together, all with our own adult money. I have friends I can talk to about dreams and aspirations, even though we are living very different versions of reality, and all of them have loved me in all the ways I have lacked. For those reasons, no matter how bad life gets, I feel like I will never truly be alone. I did, however, spend a lot of time alone this year, but I felt like it was necessary to grow into the person I want to be. And so while I am spending this birthday alone, I feel so much love and joy in my heart for every single thing, and also for you who is watching this video. I can't believe there are 2,000 people subscribed to this channel. It really feels like an honor. Thank you for watching, and I wanted to let you into a glimpse of my birthday, a very raw, realistic one, because I have nothing big planned. Thank you so much for watching, and welcome to the video. Good morning, it's my birthday today, and I have a lot of thoughts and feelings, and I got myself cake. Chocolate Oreo cake from like a nearby neighborhood bakery. I'm having a very low-key birthday this year because of budget cuts. By budget cuts, I mean not making money because I'm starting a company. The good news is, as of yesterday, I was monetized off AdSense. I started making $3. Yes, a whole $3. The hardest three dollars i've ever made in my life and so because of budget cuts and because of just like my headspace i opted for a more low-key birthday this year which means i kind of i'm just gonna simmer in my thoughts for the entire day but i am rewarding myself by eating cake for breakfast i also asked for a candle and let's 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 light this baby up before midnight, my mom called me for two hours and then my best friend from high school called me for an hour and a half and then my best friend from middle school called me for another hour and then my best friend from college afterwards called me for an hour so I slept at like 4 because I was like calling people back to back and the funny thing was it wasn't even planned but they like called me at those like awkward times five minutes after i just finished my call initially historically my birthdays have been a lot more festive i normally treat like my 10 plus i want to say 15 friends in new york but now we are like entering a different season with a different budget i'm intentionally opting for something more low-key i hung out with like some of my best girls this past weekend and i'm gonna go out and have dinner with my co-founder but apart from that there's nothing too festive about this year's birthday there's just a lot of pressure to make the most out of your birthday to treat yourself and to do something like really well and i do see like the rationale of it after all you want to like you want to thank the higher power life for giving you another age i've been like pretty stressed as i approach this age just because it's a big number so last night i spent an hour journaling and i wrote 26 things that i wait but first let's let's blow the cake let's let's get the cake okay make a wish yay so last night i journaled and wrote the 26 things that i liked about being 26 I feel like I've started a new chapter-ish in my life. There are elements about being 26 that I will not have in my 
late 20s and it's living less than 10 minutes away from my close friends having the courage to start anew having lived enough to know that nothing lasts forever and nothing is as good or bad as it seems and with it comes the strength to face uncertainty and hard days with a lot more inner calmness having known my friends for a significant number of years now and with it comes the ability to find a time capsule like situation in some friends and understanding them without much explanation the ability to make my teenage dreams come true like going to a blackpink concert and watching taylor swift in person being able to walk 30,000 steps for days without breaking down. That's just some of the things I wrote. A lot of my friends are moving out of New York. Overall, there's a sentiment that it is like graduation season, except you're not graduating from school or an institution, but from like early adulthood. And it's been, it's been kind of scary. And today, I'm actually gonna have to prepare for VC interviews because one accelerator is finally speaking to us. I'm so excited for that. I heard that how you're spending your birthday is gonna kind of determine the mood for the rest of the year. And since I'm spending it alone, working, eating cake, I think that's probably a good representation because I feel like in the coming months, I'm gonna be working a lot more and a lot harder because of my startup. And I know that the entrepreneurial journey is very lonely. Oh, I'm also making a vlog today, so hopefully there'll be more vlogs in the future. But yeah, when it comes to like hope for 27, I don't really know what to hope for just because I feel like I'm really bad with like planning. I think I do want more stability. I'm excited to unfold this new adventure that's ahead. I feel like my early 20s and my 20s were a lot of like experimentation, finding confidence, finding my voice, figuring out what I like, what I want to do with my life and definitely learned so much from the first half of my 20s and now i feel like it's time for me to kind of put in play and implement all of my learnings i feel like also because i've gone through a lot in my early 20s i'm now able to like live life with a lot less anxiety like i know that when i feel anxious because something's coming up or when things are bad i know that that anxiety doesn't actually help me and i'm able to like not listen to it more so i guess some of the perks from like being older but yeah exciting times ahead and i just wanted to say thank you so much for being here and watching my video i appreciate all the love and the support i get in every video i know that i'm not a big creator and this is not a big channel but just a year ago when i was posting i would feel like i was posting into the void the fact that i have 2000 subscribers i know objectively it's not a lot but i don't even know 2000 people you know and i feel like if i had to speak in front of 2000 people in real life i would get so much anxiety 2000 is still a big number and it's a number that means a lot to me i just wanted to say thank you so much for being here i appreciate it so much happy birthday to me and I'll see you in the next video. Love you, bye! <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> Yay, okay. I so I can make another <laughs> wish. Abba? Happy birthday! Yay! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday Thank you! Happy birthday. Thank you, friends! Happy birthday.